Franklin, Nashville, and I got a special in-studio guest this afternoon, Mr. Matthew Ryan's here in the Lightning 100 Studios. How are you doing? How are you, Lieutenant Dan? I'm doing great, man. It's great okay. to have you here. Uh, I'm excited about uh, the show this Sunday out at uh, 3rd and Lindsley, Nashville, Sunday night. You get to share the stage with the great Edwin McCain. Oh, yeah, it's going to be fun. Another fantastic... Fun. On uh, Valentine's Day, no less. On yeah. Valentine's Day, yeah. I was yeah. wondering, you got to you gotta tweak the setup for, for Valentine's Day? I'm putting together a very special romantic collection. <laughs> 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 nice. Well, it's going to be a lot of fun. It's it's uh, it is sold out. Although I do believe they a lot of cool stuff ha coming yeah. out of Music City USA, mm -hmm. including your new record. I'm excited about talking about that, dear lover. But uh, let's maybe uh, start with the tune. What do you want to play live for us here? Um, I'm going to play the title track. Uh, it's called Dear Lover. It's got some uh, uh, on, it's got some language on the recorded version, but we're going to clean that up for uh, Lightning. 100. We've got the live in studio okay. edit on the fly here. It's Matthew Ryan live on Lightning 100. Here we go. One, two, three. Tell me what you want, tell me what you want Tell me what you want, tell me what you live in our studios this afternoon, Nashville's own Matthew Ryan. He's playing this Sunday for Nashville Sunday Night with Edwin McCain. It's our weekly live broadcast 
out at 3rd and Lindsley, a show Matthew's quite familiar with. <laughs> and uh, it is uh, sold out, but we are going to give away a pair of tickets, and there may be some tickets at the door the night of the show. Of course, uh, very cool, though, to just be able to kick on your radio if you can't get in at 100.1 FM. And you can tell your friends to tune in anywhere in the world at lightning100.com. It feels, how long have you lived in Nashville, Matthew? Because it feels like you've been on the radio as long as I have, and <laughs> that, that's been 13 years or so. Yeah. Yeah. When did when, when, you come here? I moved here and uh, I can't believe it, man. Time is such a weird thing. I'm, uh, you know, uh, and and the funny thing is, is I'm I'm only 21 now because I was <laughs> I was a I was an infant prodigy when I moved here. I moved I relate to that. Well, uh, so your new record, you uh, you recorded that uh, at your house in your own studio. I did. I, I love. I absolutely love. Um, in some way, I I don't. You know, it's a long story, and I, I know that there's a lot of people here that work in the business, so they know how much it's changing. But I do love the DIY aspects of the business now, and how how much more intimate it is between listeners and artists, and uh, and even you know my partner that I work with because I started a label as well, and she and I we we go after what we're doing with a lot of affection and a lot of um, you know as as purely as we can, and we're finding that uh, by operating that way we, we you you know you get it back in kind. Um, it's been a really really it's it's been fun. The bad thing about it is, is that there, you know, there, there was a system um, where people made a living and they fed their families, and a lot of that has been deconstructed, and that's scary. But I, I firmly believe that we're going to figure it out. Um, without getting too personal, you kind of draw a line. Uh, you wrote about it in the beginning, here yeah. where you talked about. Uh, you say, uh, I began writing the songs for Dear Lover in an emergency room. During the winter of 2009, the circumstances are private. Yeah. Keep it, keep it that way. Mm -hmm. um, but it certainly is, is a personal, these songs are pretty personal to you. They are, they are, but you know, they ultimately, in some ways, you know, if I were to liken it to a movie, um, um, you know, it, it has a happy ending, you know. And, and, and that's all, you know, in the ways that we go through life and the things that we struggle with. And uh, whenever I, you know, whenever that question comes up, um, you know, it takes me back, and I, I don't like that moment in my life. Um, but the minute I talk in detail about that, it becomes personal. But sadly, you know, um, you know, we all go through life, and we all experience confrontations with the mortality of not only ourselves but also of our dreams. You know, and that's just sadly true. If you go after anything meaningful in your life, whether it's love or some kind of occupation. Um, and gosh, you know, even it's a, we all experience it, and we, that's what art is for. Art is there to confront those things and try and find the the usefulness in them. Uh, I used to work at the Exit Inn when I first moved here. Um, believe it or not, um, if anybody, if any of my friends are out there, they know I'm not exactly a bulky dude. But believe it or not, I was a bouncer. You were the bouncer. <laughs> I was one of the bouncers at the Exit Inn back in the day. But you know, it was more like, excuse me, could you please go? <laughs> You know, but I've seen car tickets in just a bit. It's uh, Edwin McCain and Matthew Ryan this Sunday out at 3rd and Lindsley. But uh, from Dear Lover, here's Matthew Ryan in City Life on Lightning 100. Awesome. Could you have the, the this in the background on the, the webcast? Right? Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, good thinking. <laughs> and I'll be like... We might be fucked God damn it, so what? God damn it, so what? Most of us start out just thinking it's easy When the hardest thing we do is remember how to smile, girl yeah, most of us start out just thinking it's easy When the hardest thing we do is remember how to smile, girl 